Well, guten Abend, mein Pfeifenfreunds. Ich heiße Heiliger Rauken Pfeifen Padre. <lacht> ja, das ist wirklich. Okay. It's uh, me, the old Holy Smoking Pie Padre, and today, tonight, I am going to be talking to you more about uh, a little bit of a kind of an update on my 2013 tobacco review. I had a few blends that I, I'm sad to say I did not, uh, they were in a separate bag and I didn't get a chance to talk to you about them. And I want to talk to you about New Year's, not so much New Year's resolutions. Jay had an interesting take on resolutions. I'm going to talk a little bit about that in, in conjunction with my ongoing uh, weight loss diet stuff going on because it all has to do with pipe smoking believe it or not <laughs> but I just I'm just back here I just got back from the briar patch and I'm really 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 excited about um, about one of my well several purchases uh, and again I'm going to talk to you about tobacco review some of the other blends that I've tried that I also enjoy that I like to recommend and talk to you about New Year's, you know, pipes. Um, I don't know if people, um, they start the new year by buying a new pipe. Uh, sometimes I do, if I'm really in one of those moods, like today I was. But uh, right now I want to share with you a very, very special gift that I received uh, for Christmas for Vine Noxton. And I'm smoking it right now. This is, I, I know I did a video uh, for uh, Hermininator, Hermann, my friend, um, mein Pfeifenfreund. <laughs> but this is a uh, Anton Manger uh, rustic pipe. And I don't know if I've shared this with you or not, but uh, this was a very special, special Christmas gift and I love it. Mm. Absolutely love it. Now in it, I am smoking. Uh, Herm, Her, Herman, if you're watching. I'm smoking some Stonehaven. He sent me some uh, Spawn Flake. And unfortunately, I uh, guess we'll just have to agree to disagree. And again, I'm not 100% making a, a declaration that this uh, beautiful flake that Ermon sent me is, is equivalent to Stonehaven. But um, I had some Stonehaven uh, uh, laying around and it was just about ready to pretty much on its last legs and I said, you know what, I better, I better take advantage and smoke it before it goes bad or stale. And I am smoking <clears throat> some of that. Uh, it was in a plastic bag. I just uh, had cut like two flakes left and I said, you know what, Let's 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 make a good resolution in the new year to uh, to you know go through and not let stuff go bad, okay? Uh, or let it go beyond its prime. So I did that. Now I want to share with you something crazy. I did, and it's in conjunction with my tobacco review. Um, also, I'm sm drinking, smoking. I'm smoking some Starbucks. <laughs> This was a very special deal that Starbucks had uh, for the new year. You buy this particular coffee tumbler. <clears throat> it's very, it's actually quite well uh, engineered, by the way. Let me show you. A lot of times coffee tumblers can, you can have disasters if you did that with a cheap one. Also, if you seal the lid, as I have here, obviously, and you had a, a very hot cup of coffee or even a cold cup of coffee, it will stay, this will stay hot for hours as long as the lid is closed, okay? That little lid there is closed. But this was a special deal that Starbucks was offering uh, in the month of November, and just before Christmas. And um, you buy this tumbler, it's very expensive, I have to say, to some extent, but you can go in any Starbucks 
for the month of January, as I have done, and you, they, they don't ask any questions, they will fill it up for free, your beverage of your choice. Now friends, if you are a Starbucks person, I think this is a great deal. I have already probably, if I was to buy the drinks I bought so far, it'd be like $16, and that's in the last three days. The coffee cup costs $65, so if you do the math, you'll see that this will pay for itself probably, you know, I, I, if I get this filled up twice a day, two weeks I'll have already paid for the coffee cup and I'll have uh, two weeks of free drinks and it's wonderful. So anyway, also today is my first official day of uh, intermittent fasting in the new year. I'll be talking a little bit more about that later, <clears throat> but I'm just so excited about Christmas and New Year's. Oh, in the background, you're listening, and I hope you're listening too, my friend David, um, to some beautiful uh, music by Handel, Vivaldi, Buxtehude, um, and uh, some other great uh, uh, Italian, well, not necessarily Italian, but um, Baroque uh, music that uh, one of our YouTube presenters, the Silver Fox One, Mature Fox One, uh, David actually recorded. He actually was the Leitung, or the conductor, and uh, really enjoying this music. He sent to me uh, pack, uh, some of his music about two or three months ago, and I listened to the first one, which was wonderful stuff, and this, I found out I had this, and I hadn't listened to it, and I went, oh, i got to listen to this. So, anyway, but uh, I wanted to share with you a goofy thing that I did. Uh, a friend of mine sent me some, not sent me, but gave me some Christmas tobacco as well. It was called Creme Brulee. And although I, I love aromatics, I'm always leery of a new aromatic because most of the time, aromatics can, as we all know, burn you pretty good. Well, this Creme Brulee, it's in this little Savinelli. This Savinelli was sent to me by the same person about 14, 15 years ago when I was in Bosnia. It says a nice, big, large bowl. It's a nice pot. It's a beautiful Savinelli. And uh, so what I did was, I'm on, I'm on one of my first fasting days of the new year. Now the last two weeks, actually the last month and a half, although I have been still doing intermittent fasting, I have not been as rigorous with it as I had been in the first uh, nine months. I kind of slacked off. It was my birthday the end of November and then of course December was a lot of celebrating okay a lot of goodies <clears throat> and I although I said no to a lot of the goodies uh, I did finally the last oh 10 days uh, kind of decided to not worry so much about it and just enjoy the holidays and just uh, you know not be so restrictive but I did pay a price I will be honest I did gain some weight back certainly not uh, 50 or 60 pounds, but I gained about 15 pounds back. So I'm now really uh, looking forward and being really dedicated and getting back to my uh, my primal blueprint diet thing, paleo diet. But anyway, uh, I came home and I was, I was hungry, I'll be honest. And so a good cup of coffee and a pipe on my fast days are almost uh, invalu very invaluable uh, to help me kind of just put those hunger pangs away for, you know, the next 10, 12 hours as I finish up my first 24 plus hour fast. But what I did was I, I'd had this creme brulee, I just uh, loaded it and got a char light on it and then I had to put it down, I had to go somewhere. And then I realized I had just lit this beautiful, uh, wonderful rustic, I call it kind of like a hobbit pipe. It's just, it just looks like something that Bilbo Baggins would take with him on his adventures and I just I love the feel of this pipe in my hand. It just has one of those wonderful feels in your hand, you know. And I just think that it's just a, a marvelous pipe. And it's from Deutschland, and it's an actual German uh, Deutsche Fabrik uh, pipe. Pfeife. Deutsche Fabrik Pfeife. So I love it, you know. So anyway, um, I got this going, and I realized I've got both these pipes, and they're both pretty much full, full bowls. So what I did was, I had some fun. I lit both of these and I was smoking them interchangeably. You know, like two guns, you know, draw, you know, two guns, two pipes. 
I'm going to tell you. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking, you know, you have really lost it, Padre. You are, you are cuckoo. Okay. I don't know if you ever tried that. Smoking two different pipes. Now, this was a, uh, in the creme brulee, it's obviously an aromatic. Stonehaven is obviously a very dark English. Now, I'll tell you what. I was surprised. I thought I was being goofy. I was actually going to, you know, do one of these, you know. But in real life, I was sitting here puffing on this one for a few minutes, and then I would go back to the Stonehaven. Now, as crazy as it sounds, I will tell you this. There's something about that, that where you can really begin to taste the real differences in a tobacco. And what happens is it heightens the flavors uh, in the other tobacco. So you smoke this for a little while, and then you go back to this one, you will you will certainly taste a lot of richness and differences uh, between the two. And also, I found that I was picking up wonderful flavors uh, in this one, I mean, both, both pipes. But I was finding flavors in this that I hadn't found before. I mean, yes, it's a sweet, uh, delicious aromatic. It's called Creme Brulee. It's a, uh, an independent tobacconist in, up in Nevada, Nevada, of all places. And I'll tell you what, absolutely, and I'm saying this for my new friend David, delicious, seriously. I, it reminds me uh, when I was a little kid, don't tell anybody, but I discovered that if you poured a little bit of bourbon in 7-Up, you got this wonderful, now you can't put a lot of, the moment you start putting more booze in something, you, you, you take that balance away and, and the, the, that special flavor just goes away. All you get is just a big 7-Up drink full of booze. Uh, but I remember as a little kid, and I remember the, the, the wonderful, haunting, misty uh, taste that that little bit of bourbon, just a little bit, not a lot, but really made that 7-Up something superior, something something almost transcendental. Uh, I don't think I, I don't think I don't remember getting drunk or you know hung over or anything, but I just remember the flavor of just that little bit of whiskey kissed Seven Up was just exquisite. Well, it tasted very similar to what I was smoking in this as I was going from this uh, Stonehaven back to the Creme Brulee, and it was just kind of a fun little experiment. Again, I'm not saying you should try it or you should do it, but it's just it was just a lot of fun, you know. So if you've ever wanted to maybe experiment with a, a, a different pipe tobacco, two different type pipe tobaccos kind of going at the same time, uh, it's, it's kind of a unique experience. And uh, so I've been enjoying that along with my Starbucks coffee. Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about New Year's pipes. Now this was my Christmas pipe, very special Christmas pipe. Uh, but two years ago, I uh, went to the Briar Patch and I fell in love with two beautiful pipes I'm going to show them with, to you now. And at the time, in fact, I was I was there with uh, one of our pipe presenters. I haven't seen him on online lately. Uh, old Asian hombre. He and I were uh, at the Briar Patch together one night, uh, talking and visiting. And we saw these two beautiful pipes. At least to me, I thought these were just gorgeous pipes. Uh, this beautiful uh, Prebenholm Danish freehand Ben Wade love the grain on this this is just absolutely gorgeous i'm going to get it polished up here pretty soon again love this pipe this is just an absolutely beautiful 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 pipe and then i also found this uh beautiful calabash which i it looks like a, it looks like a, a church warden calabash i mean i was just i never have seen anything like this this is a uh a bouchocan and uh, this one again is a, a ben wade preben home ben wade well, I was able to buy both of these. Um, I was very blessed. And uh, I went back and they were still there a couple days later. So New Year's, uh, was probably like new, the day after New Year's, maybe it was actually New Year's Day, I can't remember, but I bought one one day and the other the, the next day. I just love these pipes. Uh, so these were like New Year's pipes for me and I just, I just loved them. Well, last year, um, for just personal reasons and whatever, I just didn't, wasn't really into buying a pipe last year. But this year, I had to get a New Year's pipe. Just had to. But I just I didn't want to just go out and spend money just to buy a pipe. I wanted to buy something that I that really caught my eye. But but this time the you know, only smoking pipe pottery is a little bit more conservative 
but he found he found a rare rare treasure and I'm going to share that with you let me put these other beauties back for right for right now um, and two pipe tobaccos but I'll just do a little quick well this creme brulee does it say creme brulee there there you go creme brulee and another uh, and this of course is an aromatic and it's it's very well done the, the man who made this he's wow this is good no tongue bite at all it's so it's up there with a the boswell blend and it's delicious i love this stuff um just awesome stuff and then my friend the same dear friend who gave me this for christmas gave me this for my birthday this is sherlock's choice it's from the tender box uh, and this is one of their standard English blends, and this is wonderful. This is, I remember this from many, many, 30 years, like 30 plus years ago, when I was, when we had a tinderbox in the mall. Uh, sad to say, pipe tobacco stores in malls, unless they hear at least, uh, they're, they're getting rid of the briar patch. If you're watching and you're sitting down, I have some really sad news, and that is the beautiful briar patch shop. I mean, the shop itself is beautiful. It's been there for over 30 years. They are going out of, they're, they're closing that store in Arden Fair Mall at the end of this month, actually around the 20th of this month. And I'm just heartbroken. I tell you, I am heartbroken. Uh, it is just, to me, I always thought that, you know, it was just a wonderful, it looked like a little old English pipe shop. And I, I mean, I've had tins for, that I bought there before. Uh, again, um, some of my rat trays blends that I bought years ago, I bought, you know, there at that store, like 11, maybe even 16, 17 years ago, still got them. Uh, so I'm, I, I was told by Sean, who was the manager out there, he says, well, I don't know how to tell you this, we're closing that store. And I just, I just, I was stunned. I just stood there uh, in shock and sadness. Um, anyway, so I just wanted to just tell you that if you're a local person, I know there's a few of you that watch. I think uh, Theo Bacchanist is now a local guy. Hello, Eric Austin Lee. You're a great guy. Um, we got to get together sometime. I'm serious. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to just say that uh, if you're a person who, you know, the, the Dagners, the Dagners have been there. Hey, by the way, they have a whole bunch of Pelican, guys. I, I almost bought a Pelican tonight, but I didn't because I, I bought some other things and I want to share those with you. But, uh, but they got a whole bunch of Pelican, uh, Butera's Buc Pelican, if, those, if, if some of you are looking for them. And again, they do ship. So you can buy um, uh, One Man Smoke, uh, bought his, uh, one of his uh, Dunhill Zodiac pipes there. Uh, he got it sent to him from them. They'll, they'll, they'll do business with you, good people. Anyway, so I digress. So uh, Sherlock's Choice, Prim Brulee, again, part of my tobacco review. Uh, good stuff, excellent, excellent tobaccos. So, tonight, uh, this afternoon, I went out there to buy a New Year's Eve pipe, or a New Year's Day pipe, or, a, or just a New Year's pipe. But I also bought some tins of some really wonderful stuff. Uh, now, one of these I'm going to open uh, right now, and two of them I'm just going to sell them and put them away. Uh, I can, old iron sides, I've been seeing, I think, I think, I think Jay Dagner even did a little talk about old iron sides in one of the videos I saw of his recently wonderful english oh this is a smoky english wonderful english this is like uh, to be honest it's it's a lot like pirate cake okay except it's not pirate cake it's definitely not pirate cake. different different animal altogether but but that that really deep dark super pungent masculine you know english blend okay so they have this in bulk so um i can buy it in bulk but i want to keep the tin because i love i love the i love the old iron sides the old uss constitution um, I built that model so many times as a boy, uh, and I just I just love the, that for my nostalgia there. Uh, the other thing that I got, uh, Sean recommended very very highly. This is another wonderful English blend. This is their McClellan's Anniversary blend. I was looking kind of for a Christmassy blend. Um, I uh, I love smoking in my uh, in my uh, Ben Wade. Um, uh, W.O. Larson signature. Uh, wonderful, wonderful tobacco. It, it, you got to treat it with respect. Uh, you can't just, you know, you know, uh, it's, it's something just to sip, but it's, it's, it's a wonderful tobacco. 
Uh, but anyway, McClellan's, this is a McClellan's anniversary. I was looking, like I said, for kind of more of a, I know this is not aromatic, but it is a really delicious English. And uh, Sean let me, you know, he had an open tin of it and it was great. Now, the one I'm excited about, one I'm going to open up for all y'all, and I'm going to be enjoying it for the next few weeks. It's a very rare essence. I couldn't believe they had it in the store. Uh, usually, and I mean, two years ago when I discovered this, I, I was only given a small sample by Matthew at the Briar Patch. Thank you again, Matthew. It was two years ago, Christmas present. But uh, this is what I got today. I couldn't believe they even had it. Actually, it kind of hid it, had it hidden. I probably bought the last one, and I think a few people were kind of sad because, like, well, he's buying it. I wanted to buy that. You know? McClellan's Dark Star. Dark Star. Uh, this is a very rare essence, and uh, let me just uh, enjoy opening this on camera. So I can do this with a little bit of dignity. Ah. Oh wow, oh wow. Oh. Look at that. Rich, dark, Aged, stoved, Virginia. Oh, I wish they could, I wish, I wish Google, hey Google if you're watching, try to get some kind of smell, smell-o-vision thing going here. Oh, that gets me weak in the knees. It curls my toes. Oh, look how rich. Rich and uh, just absolutely a wonderful. Maybe I can get it to do its magic here. And, uh, maybe, there we go, maybe a little bit. Anyway, this is uh, a little bit of heaven in a tin. Okay. So, gonna be smoking some of that probably. Now, you're wondering. Okay, you talked about New Year's, Christmas pipe, wonderful Anton Manger pipe from Deutschland, yes. But I wanted to find a pipe for New Year's. And I'm happy to say I found one. And I'm gonna say, John, old matches 860, I sure hope you're watching because you're gonna love this. I mean, I, I can't believe I got it. This is a Savinelli autograph. Look at this. Look at this. A Savinelli autograph. Look at how beautiful that is. Look at that grain. Look at that beautiful straight grain. It's a straight grainer, David, as you would say. It's a straight grainer. Look at that. Just look at this. Look at that. I'm telling you, this is absolutely gorgeous. Hopefully it'll just, just do its magic once. That's all I need you to do. Maybe I can get it to... Uh, anyway, doggone, I wish it would... Look at that. Isn't that a gorgeous thing? Wow. Wow. Savinelli autograph. Hmm. I'd like to probably, if I, if I had some W.O. Larson, I probably would put W.O. Larson in there. But I think I'm going to do dark, dark, some Dark Star. Yeah. So I probably won't do that right now because I want to finish up this video. It's getting too long as it is. But, um, Wow, Savinelli autograph, Savinelli autograph. Uh, I'm just, I'm just absolutely 
in love with this pipe. Mm, wonderful. So I will work on uh, maybe coming back a little bit later and talking about how it how it performs. I'm sure it's going to be wonderful. Um, I love the, the nice thick uh, bowl um, and it's a uh, uniform so I'm sure it's going to be a really good, a good smoker. I'm almost 99.9 .9 sure this is going to be a great New Year's pipe. Okay, um, two more things. Uh, again, the kind of just talk to you a little bit about some blends I did try in 2013. These are Briar Patch blends and I recommend them wholeheartedly. Uh, chocolate cream. Again, these are aromatics. Most of these, I think, are aromatics. Uh, well, with a, one, or, one or two exceptions. Wonderful stuff. It's delicious. It really is. And uh, there's no tongue bite. Again, this is, this is a good one. Chocolate cream. Um, vanilla cream. Now, this is a little bit dried out. It's not bad. And again, going back to the chocolate cream, I give that a definitely a nine. Nine? Yeah. Uh, vanilla cream is good too. This, this I think I let go just a little bit too long, so I don't know if I want to rehydrate it. I think uh, Kel is right when he talks about it. it takes away some of the flavor. So, but I, I will keep working on this. And I'd say that's at least a seven. Uh, again, more chocolate cream. Uh, the other one that is not a Briar Patch blend, but it is very, very good, is the Delta Mojo. This was, uh, again, sent to me by um, Eric and Angela. And this is wonderful stuff. And uh, I, uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll do Delta Mojo in my new uh, Savinelli. I might just do that. Hmm, very, kind of tempted to do that. Okay. Um, and then the 1792 Flake. Um, I've tried this, this is good, it's stout. Um, and again, I'd probably give this a 7.5, maybe an 8. Um, I do remember that it was good. I, I don't remember uh, it being quite, um, well, it, again, it's a good stout English. And so um, I think I was looking at it as kind of like a Dunhill Mixture 965. It's not, but, um, but it is a good English and it's, it's, it's unique. It is it's good. Okay. Um, all right, so um, I digress. Let me get a little bit of a shot of coffee here. Mm. Ah, that's very good. Okay, and let me f continue with my wonderful Anton Manger Fifa. Um, Mm. Stonehaven. One of the rare essences. <laughs> so, um, just real quick, in closing, I'll talk a little bit about the old uh, journey of, uh, of weight loss and um, getting back on track. I, uh, I'm still in the process of moving closer to the old goal weight, and I'm I'm confident this year that I'm going to to make that goal. It's a very special goal, um, and uh, but I've, I've I've had to employ some special uh, oh. Do I want to use techniques? Um, do I want to use what? What? what, what just, just, just basically a way of uh, living that will help me to be successful uh, in achieving my goal. Oh, I was going to do this. Some of you out there are going to watch. You're going to. You're going to. If you. You, know, well, you don't have much hair like uh, like I do, some of you do, but I was I've almost was going to say, what should I smoke in my new Savinelli? Some haunted bookshop? <laughs> now John probably would, right, John? Okay, and don't get me wrong, still love this stuff, even though it's mm, 
but I don't I don't think I'm gonna smoke that haunted bookshop in my new Savinelli. Um, I, I kind of think that's going to be more of an aromatic pipe. I don't know. Again, I might do some Dark Star in there to inaugurate it. I just haven't decided. Hey, maybe I should ask you guys. What would you guys... Maybe that's it. Okay. As far as the weight loss thing goes, we're gonna, I'm going to keep you posted on that. Um, but again, I've been doing the kind of like a primal diet, the primal blueprint diet by Mark Sesson. S-I-S-S-I-O-N. Mark Sesson. He a, has a, a blog called The Daily Apple. And essentially, I have, um, uh, over the holidays, I, I basically um, threw caution to the wind. But, but now I'm back on this uh, very unique diet. And there's no grains, there's no dairy, and there's certainly no sugar. And I guess that's one of the reasons why I think I, I like my pipes even more when I'm on a fast day. Because maybe there is some residual sugar or something, you know. I mean... The, I don't think I get it in a, in a dietary way, but I certainly get something that's uh, reminiscent of that somehow, uh, which really helps satisfy um, some of the hunger that you do experience on intermittent fasting. And again, I haven't done a, a real serious intermittent fasting um, since um, probably the first of this last month. And uh, so now I'm back to it. So, I'll keep you posted on uh, my progress, okay? Again, last year when I started, old Holy Smoke and Pipe Padre was 270 pounds. And you can kind of see my face was much rounder then. Um, and uh, my, my health, believe it or not, was pretty bad. And this year, I'm grateful. You know, maybe that's why I felt like I could buy a new pipe, because I felt good about life again. So anyway, um, but I'll keep you posted on that. So my question, maybe, I'll leave it at this. I'll close my video with this, uh, my first video of the new year, by the way. What tobacco would you recommend that I smoke in my brand new 7 -A? What tobacco would you let me just put it this way. What tobacco would you smoke in this beautiful, brand new Savinelli autograph pipe? Okay? So, send me your comments. Hey, make a video if you want to. But, um, I'm absolutely looking forward to, um, to uh, enjoying this new Savinelli, my New Year's pipe. Okay. Now, again, Holy Smoke and Pipe Padre, again, saying, light up your world, light up your pipe, and enjoy. Happy New Year. See you soon. Bye-bye.